Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to talk about noble gas notation or what is known as core notation as a means of shorthanding the electron configurations we learned in the last video. So let's look at a sample we looked at from the previous video and that was the electron configuration for calcium. Now calcium is in the fourth row second column of the S block so we know that calcium is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and is going to end as 4s2. Now if we look at simply the 1s2 through 3p6, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, that is actually the noble gas argon. So we know that the row above the element we're looking at, we know that that noble gas has full electron notations, which means each of its orbitals is completely full to the noble gas. So from calcium, we go up one row or period, and we go to the noble gas above it, which is argon, and we're going to replace the 1s2 through 3p6 with argon in brackets and then write 4s2. So this is the noble gas notation also known as core notation as a shorthand for the electron configuration for calcium. So let's look at the noble gas notation for silicon. Silicon's in the third row second column of the P block so we are dealing with a 3p2 ending to the electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. So we know that 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 is also the same as neon, the noble gas. So if we go up one row and over to the right to the noble gas, neon is the noble gas above silicon. So we can use the noble gas notation, Ne, to represent 1s2 through 2p6, and then do 3s2, 3p2 as the core notation or noble gas notation for silicon. So here we have antimony, which is located in the fifth energy level the P3 column. So we are going to use the noble gas krypton and the noble gas krypton is represented as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6. That is the noble gas krypton. So antimony has a noble gas notation of Kr in brackets 5s2, 4d10, 5p3. So here we have mercury. So I'd like you to find mercury on your periodic table. Write out the core notation or noble gas notation for mercury. Why don't you turn off the video now, write that out, and then come back and see how you did. So the noble gas above mercury is xenon, Xe in the bracket. We then go to the sixth period as 6s2, follow that up with 4f14, 5d10, and that is the noble gas notation or core notation for mercury. So let's do one more example. Let's do the noble gas notation for polonium. So go ahead and write that out on a separate piece of paper. Turn off the video now and then come back and see how you did. So again, polonium, which is located in the sixth period and the fourth column of the P block, we would go up one row and over to the noble gas and that noble gas would be xenon and we will then follow up xenon with the sixth energy level or sixth row 
and that is 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, followed by 6p4, the noble gas notation, 4 polonium. So keep working on your chemistry.